<laughs> well, howdy, 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 y'all. Teresa here, and just me here. Um, Bradley is at work. It is December 13th, 2016, Tuesday afternoon. It is 2.25 p.m. already, and I need to get my button gear today. It is 75 degrees out, real fill is 78, the high will be 75, the low will be 64. It was pretty foggy out this morning when we got up, but now it's just kind of overcast, uh, a little bit misty, but a very nice day, slight breeze. Uh, I have the AC going in back because, yeah, it's, it's kind of warm. I mean, not super bad, but, you know. Um, I always run a little hotter than... The average person anyway, so yeah. Um, Bradley was off yesterday and he uh, cooked dinner. He made grilled pork chop and a noodle dish and what did we have for? I think it was peas. And then I made cookies later on that night. Uh, we were yakking on the phone with a friend of ours. He just had her on speakerphone, and we were yakking with her. And then I did start looming my octopus, because I needed one more octopus for a gift. So I do have the main body done, um, and now I need to, and then I have the, I call it the belly, the belly done, which will all be assembled. And I need to do the eight legs, and then stuff it and assemble it all. Put eyes on it, all that good stuff. But it's coming together. Um, and then Brett had to go to work today at 11, so he needed to go to bed earlier than normal. So um, thankfully, he fixed that portable DVD player because uh, it stopped working and we had some canned air. So I think that's what he used on it. Anyway, he fixed it, which was nice because I can take that back in the bedroom with me because you know we shut he sleeps on a pull out couch now but we shut everything down and i'm able to take that in back and use headphones and i just sit on my bed and loom and stuff and the dogs are up there and everything so it works um he had a hard time sleeping last night and it was because he was in quite a bit of pain he's in quite a bit of pain when he went to work today with the back uh hopefully that let up some Today I'm having a stomach issue, which is my normal stomach issue. It's nothing to be alarmed about or anything. You know, it's not. And this is not the flu. I have there. There's a vast difference. And and when I say I have the flu, it's different than just having the normal IBS problem, which all goes with the fibro that all of us know so much about. So anyway, I need to finish that octopus today. Brad is at work. He gets off and this evening. Um, I'm going to be making chicken and I think I'm going to make some potato salad, I think, if I have time. I thought about making some potato salad because then, you know, he would, he would be able to have that tomorrow for work and stuff too. We'll have to see. Um, uh, we have kind of a busy day tomorrow. I have a doctor's appointment in the morning. Um, and then, uh, what else do we have going on? I have a doctor's appointment and then, oh, we need to ship everything. So, you know, we still have gift cards and stuff to get. So, we do all that. Oh, update on the Max and Row cards. I did not know. And I apologize because I know I've been asking people and asking people. I didn't know that apparently many people either have his Max and Rose mailing address or got it from other people. I wondered why I wasn't getting any cards, and I finally found out last night that was it. People sent their own cards, no, just nobody bothered to tell me. So don't, don't, you know, that's why there was one person that sent a card, and I will, I will send that uh, to them along with my own, and uh, you know. It's all good. They got the card, so, you know, I just felt kind of like a fool because I was trying to do something nice and nobody, I would have thought one of my friends would have said, hey, you know, a lot of us have his mailing address, so we're sending him cards. So it's like, okay, great, but, you know, just not kind of leaving me hanging because I was feeling very bad, like, 
maybe I was doing something wrong because nobody's sending any cards and I wanted this to be something nice for them. You know, so. But anyway, it's all good. As long as they got their cards, that's what's important. Um, uh, <laughs> this is kind of funny because my topic today is not feeling left out. And it's not it's not to do with, with that whole situation at all. You know, it's gone, forgotten, you know. Um, is if I know it's really hard to not feel left out when everybody else, or it seems like so many people have these holiday plans, you know, and they may even be complaining about they've had so much family that's asked them to go here, there, and everywhere. And then sometimes you think, well, gee, you know, you'd love to have one invitation. And it's hard sometimes to not feel left out with, uh, all of that, and, but don't, because, you know, think about, I like to kind of think about Christmases that were really miserable, because the reason why you, your family is, is so dysfunctional and has kind of disbanded, and think about those holidays that was really bloody miserable, that you couldn't wait to be, have over with, that you were so upset and stuff during and afterwards, and swore never again and stuff. Do you really want to replay that? You know, I mean, often I think the Christmases that we miss the most are the ones that are impossible to ever get back because those people either no longer live near you or they have passed away. You know, and you can't go back in time and become a child again. So, you know, we just kind of do our own thing, you know, um, whether or not you have a Christmas dinner or maybe you decide your Christmas dinner is tacos because that's your very favorite thing. You know, or maybe it's seafood. Or may, like Thanksgiving, we didn't do anything really... Tra most traditional thing I did was made oyster stuffing. But you guys know besides that, we just had a little seafood dinner. Brad had to work later that evening and stuff. It was all good. So, anyway, try not to feel left out. I know, you know, we can't keep reminiscing about years past well you can but you just get stuck in the past and you can't move forward so anyway i love you guys and i do cherish your uh friendship so much but i gotta get going on the lumen and um i think you guys are all awesome and i will talk to you tomorrow bye